Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on 790 The Bet. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency and Wally Hatchet's Comfort Food and Drinks at 6439 Summer Avenue. Hey, good Saturday morning. Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray. And again, let me apologize for my voice, but uh, it has been a rough week since my third chemo on Tuesday. And, uh, but I, it just seemed like it pumps me up to be here. Now, it may pump me down uh, toward the end of the show, but I, I've got uh, Mike Webb is now in the room. And if anybody can't pump me up, it's, 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 it's Mike. So I'm glad to have Mike Webb. And we're going to talk to Mike about some big events coming up. Uh, with NRA, but uh, we're right now we're talking to the gray beard adventurer himself, Dale Sanders, who on June the 14th, 10 days from the day when he turns 87, he will he will uh, attempt, and I ain't saying attempt, he is going to do this. He's going to paddle the Mississippi River in 87 days. God willing, the creeks don't rise. Uh, yeah, well, there you the, go. the creeks may <laughs> rise, and I don't know about the other thing, and I know God's willing with you because you got God on your side, but... Uh, uh, he is in studio with us on this Saturday morning, first Saturday in June, uh, and we kind of given some time to Dale as he talks about this great adventure. And I know Dave Gabbert and Gene Smith. Gene brought up an interesting question, Dave. Before you jump in, Gene was asking about mosquitoes. Ask him that. Yeah, one one few years back, I got hung in a swamp, and the mosquitoes like to eat me up. I was worried about West Nile virus, so later on, I bought me one of these hats with a net underneath it. And you were saying you got one that covers your whole body? Yeah, I got I got two, both of them. I got one that covers my head over a hat, and then I got one that covers the whole body. I'm going to try that. I've never had one of those before. I'm going to try it because let me tell you right now, there's th- three things if you, if, if, that's terrible for the paddle in Mississippi, and that's mud, mosquitoes, and heat, especially the heat in August out there, water, mm. the sun flashing off the water and all this. Those three things are really, really tough on any age, so no matter what if age. I, if I can get rid of those mosquitoes without having to have a chemical, yeah, and I'm, I'm gonna wear that mosquito net. I can tell you right now. Well, just don't float any river in in uh, in Alaska, okay? Because that's their state bird, you know. So we don't <laughs> we don't want you up there. All right, Dave Gabbard, I know you got some questions for. Uh, I've for got Dale. some questions, you know, because I'm kind of interested. Uh, you know, what is your uh, how many calories do you consume in a day's <laughs> How many calories? Yeah. Well, I, I, yeah. I, unfortunately, when I get on an adventure, I don't eat as well as I should, and I start losing weight. But I eat just about anything that has – I eat a lot of calories. I don't know how many it would be, but I don't mind – I'll eat a candy bar or two a day, and uh, I eat a lot of – a lot of proteins – uh, food is my biggest problem, to be honest with you. It, it, it's it, not only to get it down and to eat it. I don't want to take the time to stop and eat, but it's hard for me to select what to take because you, you know you got to watch weight. You, you don't have, you can't take a freezer or cooler with you in the and canoe. Right, yeah. So you can't think things. You got to take and, things that don't and, have perishable dates too. And the, and the diet that that you you know uh, transition to, do you start ahead of time? You know, because uh, I know sometimes when you, you know, change a diet or, you know, uh, the food, it can throw your whole body system off. You know, that's a good uh, idea. I've never done that, but I think I'm going to, going to this next 10 days, I think I'm going to just sort of slide into that. I think that's pretty good. And, uh, and of course, you probably, get. That's probably you, good you, advice. Very you, good advice. You do get stopping and, points uh, and spend the night and uh, eat meals, I imagine. Uh, uh that you can, uh, but uh, and the and the and the other question is, you know, when you're talking weight and everything, how much water do you take with you? Uh, you know, how much water do you consume during the day? Uh, not enough. <laughs> I have. I don't <laughs> like water. It's hard for me to drink it. I try. I, I'm, I got the Gatorade powder and stuff like that. Try to make it taste a little better, and I have to force myself to drink. But really? I will drink. Probably on when it's cold, I won't have to drink over a, a liter a, a day, probably. But when it gets down in the hot area, I'll probably drink it around two and a half liters a day. Okay, all right. So, Dave, Dave, you've gone into the uh, health product, which I I'm uh, 
Uh, being married to a nurse, I guess Dave has to ask those questions, right, Gene? I mean, uh, and, uh, oh yeah, you never know how how it plays because. Uh, well, you know, he's an athlete. He's going to break a record here, so he's right. got to he's, he's, he's got, got to have himself tuned up. Yeah, and he's got eighty-seven-year-old uh, people all around the world cheering for him here. Yeah, you know, and uh, and uh, oh yeah, he, he, I'm going to be like him when I grow up. When you grow up, <laughs> I love it. I, I can't tell you how many times I heard, I heard that same. Yes. And, and every time I hear it, I love it. Well, we, and uh, and no, Gene, when you were uh, you were talking about the mosquitoes, but there's there's all sorts of critters and. Uh, oh yeah, is there any leeches in the river up there? There are leeches, but I'm there's a lot. They're not too much around the sand, and I try to stay out of the mud. But you try to stay healthy on this because this is a you you get sick you're going to have bad days you don't feel good yeah we well we do we'll have some zero days uh, yes uh, uh, the way it's calculated right now if I do thirty miles average a day I would arrive there uh, seven days before I would arrive on the first of September okay and uh, so, you uh, have... so I need to have at least seven zero days so I can get there on, arrive on on the eighth of uh, September. And, and, and you've got, and do, do, do you have a do you have a different selection of paddles? I know, yeah. you know, for being that long, you know, I know you're going to be standing up paddling sometimes. Yeah, I'll, I'll stand. Oh yeah, I get up standing. That's my that's my trademark. <laughs> that's his trademark. Uh, yeah, yeah. But I'll I'll be paddling most of the time with a double blade kayak in a canoe. But I'll be yes. paddling a double blade kayak paddle, and I will have a a regular canoe paddle with me as well, so I can trade off. And talk about how we're going, we're going to be able to keep up with you, Dale. Talk about that. Uh, as you come down the river, you will have uh, uh, ways on the internet for us to know where you are. Oh but. yes. Now, fortunately, Spot Tracker yes. has brought me on as a product ambassador for that, them. And, that's great. And uh, I will be having Spot with me. And Spot's going to go everywhere I go, and Spot works pretty good. What it does, it shows going to ping my location. Uh, so that all hundreds of thousands of people, if they wanted to log onto that link, could yeah. watch me uh, where I am, and it's it's a satellite. The satellite view they use is such a high definition, and it zooms in so close yeah. that if I'm camping under a tree that yes. night and my spot's pinging, yeah. they're gonna know I'm under that tree, and wow. they can see the tree. Isn't that amazing? That's, that's, a, that's one, one of the kids here. Yeah. Well, I told that story here a while back. He says. Am I going to be able to see you in the tent? Uh oh! Yeah. Uh, so he didn't realize that's a stock five pine yeah. Yeah. photograph. But yeah. yeah, he didn't. No, he, no, he won't see my tent, but you see the tree. Hey, again, we're talking to Dale Sanders, the Gray Beard Adventure here on Outdoors with Larry Ray, and uh, so many fans. Dale, I noticed how many Facebook friends you got. Oh, uh, well, right I think it's right at four thousand now. Four point four thousand two hundred. Uh, fans on, on Facebook, y'all. And uh, I'm also doing Instagram now. And as well. Instagram, can you believe this? You know, he's Instagram. He's probably the king of Instagram at 87 years old, you know. And, uh, well, that's hard for me to learn how to do I, it. And, a... but, he, but you have fans, Dale, uh, all over the world now. I mean, yeah, uh, thank God. Uh, that people yeah. support you in this endeavor and uh, uh, all of your endeavors now. I I know you can't place one above the other one. Uh, your Appalachian Trail was an amazing event. You did the entire uh, the Florida, the, 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 what, down to, where would you do from Florida? You went through Florida, too, right? Well, I mean, yeah, I did the Florida Trail as well. Can I talk about uh, social media just a little bit? Sure. Uh, to, before we get in there. Uh, yes. Now, I got 4,200 so friends on Facebook, but let me tell you, each and every one of those was selected. I research. You it do. It takes a lot you? of time, but I, I, before I punch that button and say, friend, we you got to accept it, uh, I, I find out who it is. Who these people are. Me that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And they're definitely fans. I mean, they're yeah, definitely. Yeah, I got good. They're mo- I would say probably the biggest, by far the biggest majority, 90% of them are probably legitimate follower type people. They are. And you've got them as far away, England, uh, you got them out of the country. Uh, you know, my last trip, somebody contacted me from Montana. And they said, Dale, you are everywhere. 
You are everywhere. You kind of like this is back now in 2015. You got to realize the time. And he says, "I just saw your program on Russian television." <laughs> See that? Well, I, I responded back, said, "I don't know whether that's good news or bad well, news." Yeah, yeah. yeah, not good news now. <laughs> but, uh, he well, is I was that. taking my wife to the doctor one time and opened a magazine there with an article about the Great Beard Adventurer. Yeah. In the doctor's office. Yeah. I hope it was in the health office. <laughs> you know, I mean, because sometimes Dale is a fitness, fitness buff, health. and fitness. Uh, and uh, he's, he's hiked around the world. But you're doing this, Dale, not only to, to, to break the record, but, I mean, you're doing this as uh, uh, telling people uh, ages don't matter here. I mean, you're an encourager to other ones. Uh, I, I'll, I'll hit that big 80 next year. I, I just turned 79. Uh I don't want to catch you, Dale, okay? Let's don't have that happen or anything like that. But uh, the greatest challenge for this time around, it's been seven years. Uh, got a couple of minimal minutes. What's the greatest challenge on this trip? Uh, the biggest challenge is going to be staying healthy, I yes. think, so I can it's keep putting... It's a head game, too, in it, Dale. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's probably going to be the biggest challenge because there's so many things can happen, and... Holding a paddle up, you know, for hours and hours a day, mm-hmm. and those muscles, you can damage muscles. And yeah. th- th- there's just tons of health issues when you get older that really could literally, you know, within a moment's time, take me off the river. Well, we're going we're gonna to cut into the next time a <coughs> l- little bit, Shelby, because I want him to tell the folks how they can follow him. Your, uh, you know, give them, give them information. So where do they can keep up with you, Dale? Uh, you, you mentioned uh, uh, the, the spot tracker, but how do people get on to that? Tell us a little quick how we can keep up with you. Okay, uh, the, my spot tracker link, I have a shared link that I'll be posting uh, in about four or five days now. On your website? On my, on my website and my Facebook and my Instagram page. And your, Facebook, and your yeah. website is? Yeah, our website is graybeardadventurer.com. Okay, all right. So all you folks, you'll be able to keep up with him. We'll be posting all this on my Facebook page and also my website, lroutdoors.com. We're going to keep up with Dale. We're going to keep him on just a little longer. We're going to let him switch chairs a little bit for a minute because uh, we're going to talk some more in just a little while. All right, let's take a break. Be right back. we got to go to – is it time to go to the Little Red River? Are we already gone time to the Little Red River? Is it? No? Do we have another segment with Dale? I'm so confused this morning. Uh, what do we got here? Are got... you dazed? All right. What? Tell me, tell me. Are you dazed and confused? All right, confused? we're going to Little Red River. Hush up, I can't talk to you. We'll be right <laughs> back on Outdoors with Larry Ray.